2009 Margaret Brent Award recipient, the Honorable Arnett Hubbard. Born in Arkansas on her grandparents' farm, Judge Arnett Hubbard recalls that she had an instinctual interest in justice. Her mother's belief in the golden rule, her grandfather's desire to see the merging of God's law and man's law, and the landmark decision of Brown v. Board of Education all contributed to her gravitation towards the legal profession. Judge Hubbard began her career in 1969 as an attorney for the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law. While her career progressed to private practice and eventually the bench, her passion for civil rights, particularly voting rights, continued throughout her career. She served as the only female member of the Chicago Board of Election Commissioners for eight years. During her tenure, she ensured greater access to the voting process through aggressive voter recruitment programs and Desert Facts, a program to deliver absentee ballots to overseas military personnel. In 1992, she was elected president of the Association of Election Commissioners of Illinois, and two years later served as an official monitor in an American delegation to observe the first South African election conducted after apartheid was abolished. She was also a member of the United States Presidential Observer Delegation to the historic 1995 elections in Haiti and was appointed as a judge in the Circuit Court of Cook County in the Law Jury Division in 1997. Elected the following year by 85% of voters and retained in 2004, Judge Hubbard continues to serve on the bench. As the first woman attorney elected to the presidency of the National Bar Association, the nation's largest African-American lawyer organization, Judge Hubbard testified before the Senate Judiciary Committee in support of Justice Sandra Day O'Connor's nomination to the Supreme Court. In one instance, the organization prepared to send a delegation to meet with the Secretary of State and other officials at the White House. The members, all male except for her, suggested that a man lead the delegation since all their meetings would be with men. She queried whether they should also hire a white man to lead the team since all the government officials would be white. In the end, Arnett Hubbard led that delegation to Washington. Judge Hubbard was the first woman elected as president of the Cook County Bar Association, the nation's oldest African-American bar association. Since then, eight other women have risen to that position and she has been inducted into their Hall of Fame. Judge Hubbard's accomplishments, while impressive, do not fully convey the essence of her fiery yet nurturing spirit. Despite her trial schedule and various community service activities, she makes time to host law interns in her courtroom for lunch. These visits introduce the youngsters to the court and enable her to encourage them to develop their networks early and to think of ways to incorporate service into their futures as busy attorneys. Judge Hubbard uses the vast network she has developed to help women attorneys, as she has said, find ways around, over, or through the hurdles in their careers. She also makes time to speak to students at her alma maters, Southern Illinois University and John Marshall Law School. Citing her appreciation for the advancement of the democratic principles of our system of law, Judge Hubbard helped form the Illinois Commission on the 50th anniversary of Brown v. Board of Education and hopes its vision will endure to see Brown at 100. In ways both large and small, Judge Hubbard has demonstrated professional achievement, a commitment to serve, and an understanding that women with successful careers have an obligation to encourage and assist the women who follow in their paths. In recognition of her unwavering devotion to the rule of law and the women who practice, the ABA Commission on Women in the Profession is proud to present its 2009 Margaret Brent Women Lawyers of Achievement Award to the Honorable Arnett Hubbard.